Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, apparently it stopped me at an hour, did not give me any notification as it usually does. So sorry about that. Um, if we have Nicole and Asma come back into the chat, I'll put them back in. Um, but yeah, that was super frustrating. Sorry about that. <coughs> comes back in. I do want to call out that there are some people who have been asking uh, for the white ladies to stop talking. So a lot of what we are discussing is um, Nicole here is actively working with Dr. Abuwarda and has been the voice for him mm -hmm. because his internet is so terrible in the area that he's located that he is simply not able to jump right in and, and have a conversation. Otherwise, I would shut the hell up and do that. Asma is here and I pulled her in very last minute um, and didn't give her time to prepare, which is my fault. And I wish that I could have done is give you better time to prepare and everything um, and have a more clear direction because we've been kind of going in a few different directions. Um, but we want, we are and want to center Palestinian voices as much as we possibly can. And we, we do that as much as we can in the ways that we can. Not every single Palestinian in Casa is able to join a live or make a video and send it to us for us to share. And those that do, we share those ones without our faces in it. We share those ones without our voice or anything. We just give the platform to amplify those voices, which is what Asma was talking about earlier that people need to be doing. If you're someone who has <coughs> just, a, you're just a person with an Instagram profile, you don't have a ton of followers or you've just been using it for your personal use, stop using it for personal use. Download some of our videos, put them on your page, duet, stitch, whatever you need to do to amplify those voices. You are one person, but even if you're reaching or having maybe 25 or 30 people view your video, that's 25 or 30 more people than it was the day before yes. or it was the hour before. And it's so important that people understand that it doesn't matter how many followers you have. What matters is that you're using your voice, that you're sharing the Palestinians' voices, you're sharing their content, you're amplifying and centering them. That is what needs to happen. Not continuing to attack who's doing it and for why. <laughs> Which is a whole different conversation to have. Um, and if, but I wanted to, for some reason, if for some reason you are in, if you're just out here in a world where you don't have Palestinian, you don't think that you have Palestinian voices to amplify, for instance, I mean, direct message me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, direct message any of us, like, comment on us. The, you're not we looking have, hard enough. Right. We have <laughs> 450 families on our GoFundMe list alone. And there are many other um, spreadsheets that are out there that have more voices too. Pick a family, talk to that family, share their content, share their GoFundMe, talk about what's going on with them, share their story, ask them if they have anything they can send you. <coughs> if they can, share their story. If you, if you don't know where to start, send Project Watermelon a DM, like the, our profile, not me, because I, yeah, Project Watermelon, has a whole team of people who can say, you wanna help a family? Let us pull a family and we'll give them to you. We'll make that introduction, we'll make that connection and get you started. You could be their marketing manager. You could be the one who's doing what Nicole is doing for Dr. Abuwarda. Or you can partner with Asma and share her content and, mm -hmm. and amplify her voice more so people understand more about the mental health impacts of all of this going on, as well as the abandoned Biden campaign. Like there, there are tons of options and there's literally just no excuse for inaction at all. So if, if there's anything you take away from our uh, fast and loose conversation today, it's do something. Yeah. And if you need help doing something, ask us. We are here to help. We're not far distant people with lots of followers. No, we're real human beings who are literally doing our best to help everyone that we can. <laughs> Excuse me, and that's all um, I will say. I a... Go ahead, Asma. Oh, I just wanted to to add, like both of you, you're both white women. You're showing to the world what other white folks need to be doing, instead of being, you know, rooted in our privileges. Uh, you decided to show up, like Sarah. You have a big platform. Um, 
um, a lot of followers. You you use that, and you're not centering yourself in in this. You are using that to uh, to to preserve life, to help in 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 uh, in the middle of genocide. The same is with Nicole. And so this is this is an invitation to anyone, no matter how how small. You don't have to be even on so social media. Speak to someone in real mm -hmm. life, your neighbor someone who goes to church with you i don't care anyone someone in the gym if you're able to change one part to help with the genocide in Gaza, we will change the whole world but if every white person would be like no this is not my business let let them take care of it there will be more genocides yep. and one day it's gonna be the genocide of your children yep. or my children god forbid um find you know there's so much to be done you can amplify voices like share uh there's a link in my bio by the way for my friend i know her for 10 years she's trying to evacuate her family she needs a hundred thousand dollars who can get that money no one has that money to the side um uh you can donate and most importantly get active politically yes this this is not even political this is not we, it's a human I, issue well, right yeah, yeah, this is, yeah, this is life. If you care about life, this is your opportunity to to prove to the world in the future, if you have grandchildren, one day they will ask you, what did you do when yes. there was this genocide in Gaza? Would you tell them, well, you know, I was too scared to speak up? Or you, you can say, I did my best. I did this and that and this and that. It's courage is right now. It's not in the museum 20 yes. years ago. Yes. And and I think um, How doing it powerful doing this, courage is right now. Ooh, that is powerful. Ooh, that is powerful. Doing this for my children is literally the first thought I had. How am I going to show my children what is right or wrong and what to do about it? We've been so Americanized into this individualistic perspective that it's all about us and our immediate family and what we do for them and how we invest in that future. But what we lack understanding of is that we can't only impact our only kids futures and that's through generational wealth sure you can do that but what is that doing for your community what what does it matter if you have generational wealth and everything else around you is total shit it doesn't matter you have to invest in your community if we learn anything from the palestinian community it is collectivism is powerful mm -hmm. it is that community is the only way that we get anything done that's why there's so many beautiful mutual aid projects that's why there's so many collective people working for this someone tagged rain doves organization yes we partner with safebo to ensure safe evacuations and we actively work with them on jude's campaign which i will update in another point in time for those who continue to ask <laughs> I can't share details right now. Um, but Rain Dove, they, they, they're literally a collective of LGBTQI queer folks who have been working for Palestinians since October, since this started. They are on the ground. They work with a team of Palestinians and they pay those Palestinians to do this work. They provide jobs, sustainability, life, a chance at moving on and past. It's not necessarily about who's white or not doing what or not. It's about community together that we are all working on amplifying Palestinians together and not just Palestinians, but beyond that within the Congolese, within the Sudanese, within the Lebanese. It's so much bigger than that. And I think it comes back to the whole um, understanding that no one is free until Palestine is free. Palestine is the starting point. Yeah. We free Palestine, we can begin to free us all. And if Palestine hasn't already freed you internally in your soul, what are you doing? And I think that, that's, that's, that's the hit right there, is like, take that freedom from your soul. And, and I will say that one thing I do, is I do think it's important that we're white people. What I mean to say is, is I follow your content and I love it. And the truth is, is that it is important for white people to get on board here. It is easy for you to be comfortable. Yes. Your society has made it that way. And look, I, I'm telling you here, it, it, 
just don't be afraid of admitting it's okay. You know, don't be afraid of admitting that you have benefited from a system designed for you. That's okay. That is not your problem. What mm -hmm. is your problem is what you do with that benefit, what you do with that privilege, what you do with the hegemon in your society. It yeah. will require white people to fix this. To, no, 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 no roll it back it will require white people to either get out of the way or start piling on with people who have who are trusted who do have a trustworthy nature who have yet to prove to us that what they do with their power is kill other people and take more power and it is important as women for us to continue to have our voice heard it is important not to shrink away from this you know unlike sarah I do not have a social, I, I don't have a social media platform. I, I'm terrified of this. I, not of the talking part, but of the social media part. And I have overcome a lot of my own personal fears to be <laughs> here doing this because I do know that I have a place of privilege and it is important for me to shout and also to set an example for folks who are the same as me. You know, I want people to see this and know that it's not terrifying. And whatever pushback I get in the street is well, well worth it. And very intense. Um, <laughs> I I have to go pick up a child from school and do my other life. Um, Asma, I want you to have the last word here. Uh, anyone watching, this is a moment that's not gonna be repeated in your life. You are witnessing a live genocide remember how you felt in the past hearing about the Holocaust, about all the atrocities of history and how you had that feeling. I would have done the right thing if I lived then. Well, this is your moment to prove yourself if you're a good human being or not. Step up, whatever you're doing, do another step. If you're liking, uh, uh, now share them. If you're sharing them, you're organized, donate, just step Thank you being here thank you <laughs> a little while i really appreciate you both jumping in you usually try to be very planned out with this so i appreciate your flexibility i appreciate you coming and sharing the space and and being the, per the people to take the space i really really appreciate it um so with that said uh everyone in the chat step up contact us if you need direction on how to step up, we're here to help with that and guide you in the right direction. So thank you all for joining us. Please donate to Rain uh, to Safe Bows Project to help evacuate people ASAP, and also donate to Project Watermelon to help get aid on the ground ASAP. Thank you all, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye.